What the hell do you get a writer for the holidays? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan. I'm an aspiring TV writer and I'm sharing my journey into the entertainment industry here on YouTube. I've been through this. I have been looking for gifts for other writers and I have been looking for gifts to put on my own lists. And it's hard to figure out like what is actually helpful for a writer to get as a gift. So I've compiled a list of things that I've really gotten and used that are really helpful and might be great for the writer in your life or to treat yourself to. First things first, if this writer is a screenwriter, wants to write scripts in any way, getting them Final Draft is great. Final Draft is the program used for writing scripts that is industry standard. So it's what you're gonna see throughout the industry. So it's really good to be familiar with it and know how to use it. And I think it costs somewhere between like one and $200, something like that to get the latest version. And it's not a subscription. So you're able to just buy it and then they have it. They can always buy later versions as they come out, but they have it. They don't need to continue paying for it. So that's definitely a great one, especially if you want to get a bigger thing. And it's really helpful. It's, you know, exactly what they're using to write. Now for any writer, a really nice notebook can be a great gift for jotting down ideas, anything like that. I mean, it's makes sense, right? For my college graduation, I actually got a few notebooks, but I got this one from my godmother from Roma Lusa, and it's just this beautiful leather notebook. It says Emily Creative Genius, which is like such a nice touch to have the engraving. It ties itself together. And then it's got these beautiful pages and it's such a nice gift. It's got a little like, you know, ink, whatever there, the beautiful thick pages. It's just, it smells incredible. Like this was such a wonderful gift and I was so touched when I got it. A really nice notebook, something like this, especially if the writer is somebody who likes to write things down on pen and paper can be a really fabulous idea. On the same note, one of those really nice pens, I'm not talking about like one of these, like a nice, nice pen could also be great, especially if you want to do like together, if you had a really nice pen and a notebook like that, whatever kind of fits your budget, but those can be great gifts to go together and they're not always gonna be the sort of thing that's as practical as something else, but it's symbolic and it just kind of shows that you're supportive of what they wanna do and you know, what they're passionate about. So sometimes people will actually have scents that they associate with different tasks. So, you know, a lot of people will use lavender scents to go to sleep, things like that. Well, you can also have scents to associate with tasks like writing and just kind of get you in that mood. So if they have a scent that they already associate with writing, you could get candles or some kind of aromatherapy, whatever in that scent, or you could get them a set of things and say, this is a very like motivational smell to me, I don't know, whatever. And I thought this would be a great thing to kind of train your brain to be able to work on writing to these smells so you can just get right into that writing mood as soon as you smell it. So that could be just like a fun little thing to do, a little bit more creative, a little bit different. And I think that'd be a really cool gift to get, honestly. I've never gotten that before, but it would be pretty cool. As long as I liked the scent. So that would suck if I didn't. Another thing that can be great that I don't think a lot of people think about is a subscription, if you want to do something like that, to Masterclass. Masterclass has great courses on writing and just things that are creative in general. So sometimes it's nice to just see different kinds of things and they've got all sorts of writing courses. It's not just writing novels or poetry or scripts. They've got people from all over the writing world and I had a subscription to Masterclass for a while and I loved it. I watched videos every single day. It just was such a great way to get started and motivated in my day. And I'm honestly probably gonna resubscribe eventually because I learned so much. I learned from so many different kinds of people. And also I learned things outside of writing. So it gave me, you know, different things to do. And I mean, we're writers, so we love books. I know that I'm always happy when I open up a gift and it's a book or a bookstore gift card. So that's always a winner in my book, no pun intended. <laughs> Also on that note, you can get writing books, books about writing, memoirs from authors, things like that for a writer can be a great gift. I don't have all of my writing books 
available right now, but I've already posted a video showing my entire writing books collection. So I'll link that so you can check that out for some ideas. And I just, I love that idea. This is another one that's a little unique, a little different, but a lot of writers like to plan out their stories and outline and stuff like that. I usually do it on Google Docs or something like that, but sometimes I need something bigger and that I can keep referring back to and that's kind of more physical. So something like a whiteboard or a bulletin board or some kind of a beat board is a great idea for a gift. Writers can use that so often and it's really helpful and sometimes people just don't have something like that. They don't think to get something like that for themselves. So that can be great, but you don't want to get one that's too small because it's, you need enough space to really plot things out. If the writer has an iPhone or an iPad or whatever tablet, you can also get them a keyboard for it so that they can write while they travel or on the go. Maybe they like to go write in a coffee shop but they don't want to lug their computer, anything like that, super helpful. And honestly, one of those keyboards, it makes it so much easier. Like I have on my iPad, this keyboard and it's also a case and that's always great when I'm traveling, especially on a trip where I really don't need my whole laptop. So great one to get for somebody. There are also places that will make notebooks for writing down ideas or brainstorming, daydreaming, whatever. That can be really great too. So when you get that random hit of inspiration, you can just quickly write it down in a place that's a little more organized. They also have, I've seen before where like the shower thoughts where it's a waterproof pad or something that you put on your shower wall and it's not gonna get wet and like, well, it's not gonna be a problem if it gets wet in the shower and they just stick it on the wall. So that can also be a really cool idea, especially if it's somebody that you know gets a lot of like shower ideas and then loses them. Okay, I've got one more for you. And honestly, I may have saved the best for last because this was such a cool gift that I actually got recently. Uh, my friend Sophia, who is in my Who's More Likely To video, which I will link if you wanna check that out, recently got me this. Now, I understand that you probably have no idea what this is. I wouldn't have either. This is a book embosser. So it's customized, it says, from the Library of Megan Lee, I think is what it says in there. And then what you do is you stick your book in there and you go like this and it leaves an imprint with that on it. So I can go through and do that in all of my books. I've already done it on one. It's so cool. I love how it turned out and what a fun and unique gift to get somebody. And you know, writers, we have all our books and something unique and fun like that. Like I just love it. There were a lot of gifts there and honestly, I came up with more than I was expecting to, but if you have ideas for gifts for writers, please let me know in the comment section. I will always need more gift ideas. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see any other content on my channel or more things like this, let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed and press the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos because I post every week. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.